Hello. The purpose of this video is to introduce um, to electrical engineers the area of uh, machine controls. Uh, here we have some electric motors. There is a DC motor here, there is a servo drive, and there is an AC motor. And uh, even for those who do not have an idea on what control system is all about or electrical engineering and are interested in becoming an electrical engineer one day uh, this video is for you just to give you an introduction and uh, an overview of what it takes for you know when you drive into um, the car wash what it takes for that uh, for the soap to come out and dispense and for the water to sprinkle and for the washing to take place and for your car to be moved to the next step and when the car is all clean uh, what stopped the process um, the main thing in uh, uh, industrial system controls is the programmable logic controllers which stands the the short uh, abbreviation for it is uh, PLCs, and so the, this is the backbone. This is the is is actually an industrial computer, and so this computer has no keyboard. It has no um, display like a, a monitor for a computer, and this. This PLC, they write the program that controls the different parts of different switches in the PLC using a, a lot of logics. And so when the, the program is written, they write it using a computer. The program is stored in the computer. You write the program, you upload it into the PLC. The PLC takes the program and then it programs different inputs and outputs. It's from that, those inputs and outputs, they're gonna tell the machine what to do next and when how long it takes to do what or to go to the next step and so for, for those who are interested or looking forward to for something to specialize in i really think that um, industrial system control is a great area to get into and there is so many cool things to learn in this workstation, um, you have the switches, different switches. You have the PLC, as I mentioned before. You have the emergency stop switch. You have a power, a DC power supply. And there are some things on this board that uses uh, a 24 volt DC, and that's what that uh, power supply is for. And these are PowerFlex 40p drives. Uh, this is the PowerFlex 40 drives. These drives drives smaller motors. This drives takes care of the, the 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 starting and the stopping of an electric motors. So sometimes you see a motor start slowly and it gains speed. It's controlled by this drive, and you do the programming by going in here and setting up the programming. This one actually has a board where you can take to the different uh, selections. So these drives are very important. Um, when Without these drives, I think electrical motors, they suffer some kind of a shock because each time you start an electrical motor using a contactor like, like this one, um, direct, uh, a high voltage goes into the electric motor. And the motor received that that uh, the direct voltage into the motor. But when you are using a drive, a drive slowly changes the frequency that is going into the motor, and the motor starts slowly. So it's actually called it's a frequency control drive. Takes care of the frequency of the motor, and so uh, it's good to have that understanding when you are getting into the field of electrical engineering. It's a very cool area. And uh, when you get to learn these things, you will love it. You will get to understand why uh, you will see a machine move from one place to another 
and wait for a moment, pick up something, move to the next station, drop it down and move back home and do things like that. Now, all of these controllers, all of these uh, uh, different controllers, they work using an IP address. So each one of them has an IP address. And because of that, they have a switch. They work through a switch. And this switch, um, it's, like a, it's like a gateway for all the different drives, all the different, like a PLC, the different drives, they are connected into this uh, um, switch. And this switch controls the different, uh, different drives through their IP address. It's from the IP address that you will know which PLC is, has to do an operation. So this, this drive has to do this after this number of minutes depending on the IP address. So that information is sent to the IP address. And so over here, you have the Allen Bradley SMC Flex drive. And then here you have the PowerFlex 775 drives. These are coal drives to drive the electrical motors in the industries. And this is an, a PowerFlex DC drive. These drives drive the DC motors. And we have to, there's a, there's a, a control pad here. This is where you do the programming, changing the frequency, the start uh, frequency, the stop frequency, the, the full speed, and all of that, those cool stuff. And so, again, the purpose of this video is just to give an introduction into the area of system uh, controls engineering. And I believe that with seeing these things, uh, presented to you, it will give you an idea on what system controls engineering is all about. And there are so many different things that you really enjoy doing with this. You can control, you can write a program that controls uh, uh, what a, a, a work environment does. What, like for example, you can write a program for pick and place systems. That, that program will be able to tell one piston to move forward. It will tell the piston to move forward and wait for a number of minutes. And after that, it will tell the next piston to move down and it will tell another piston to open. It will tell another one to grip and then it will take it, take it back home and then it will drop. You can make a very cool pick and place system so using programmable logic controllers. Again, Programmable logic controllers are they are normally called PLCs. PLCs are made by different companies. They're made by Allen Bradley, some are made by Omron, some are made by GE, some are made by Siemens. There are so many different types of PLCs. And most PLCs use some kind of ladder logic program. They may not work the same, they may not they may not uh, be programmed the same, they may not uh, uh, process the, pro the program the same way they may not you know um, look the same but they have a similarity in that they all use some kind of ladder logic program and so please um, ch look into the area of control engin uh, 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 engineering uh, controls engineering uh, system or system engineering controls and you know, um, see if you can like, you may like it. All you need to know is number of IP addresses that you need. You need to program your drive using a particular uh, uh, IP address. You know, you, when you p program your, your drive, each of these drives have an IP address, okay? And most of them start with 192.168.1.10 or dot twenty dot. 25.100 so each one of them has a different IP address and these each one of these has an IP address and that's how it communicates with the inputs and the outputs and so you will learn a lot of cool things about 
um, controls engineering. So please dive into it and see what it has to offer for you. Please, if you like the video, you know, uh, comment and let me know what you would like to hear in the, in the next video. What you like to know more about control systems engineering, and I can be of help. I can tell you more of what I know, and we can learn it that way. Thank you so much for watching. Please have a blessed day.